one female bowler managed to achieve the unthinkable, something that nobody had managed to do. She showed others it was possible to achieve your dreams, even when those dreams seem inconceivable. Today, we're going to look at exactly how she created history by becoming the first female bowler to win a PBA title. This woman's name is Kelly Kulik, and this is the story of how she conquered a field of men, the best bowlers in the world, to create history. Today, Kelly Kulik can become the first woman to ever win a PBA Tour title. But this isn't just any PBA title. This is the Tournament of Champions, Pro Bowling's signature event. In its 44 editions, the TOC has never ceased to amaze, producing some of the sport's most heralded moments. And some of its most shocking. Oh my goodness gracious, Patrick Allen wins. A win by Kelly Kulik would rank as one of the greatest in TOC history. Can she get it done and guarantee herself a place among bowling's legends? The TOC is live next. It's January 24th, 2010 in Red Rock Lanes in Las Vegas. It's a telecast of the Tournament of Champions and four bowlers are vying for the major title. But one of those competitors has a chance to create history and become the first female bowler to ever win a regular PBA title. Adding the fact that this is a major, this makes it even more of a special moment for Kelly Kulik. Coming in as the two seed, she will face the winner of the first match Rhino Page versus Major Mika. Rhino Page had suffered heartbreak here at the TOC just one year previous to this in 2009. He had the title in his grasp before this happened. So this year he's certainly looking for redemption and he was definitely feeling confident having beat Mika a number of times leading up to this match. Success against Mika has been very high lately. Uh, I beat him twice in uh, best of seven in uh, Detroit. And then I also beat him in match play this week. And he says, you must like bowling me. You're, you're not supposed to beat me. I'm lefty killer. <laughs> and I, I said, I'm just making up for the first three times I bowled you and you kicked my butt. <laughs> but halfway through the match, he hands Mika the initial advantage after losing his balance and missing the 2-4-7. Or a foot adjustment. Uh, it could be either or, but right now he needs to concentrate more on it's taking care of his spares yes exactly and an issue there with okay with the approach Let's see what happens with his footwork here is it a slip or is it a stick it's just that's a stick right there he just came to a stop and actually caused him to miss the 247 Mika jumps on this opportunity making it three in a row for a 30 pin lead and Mika won't even give Rhino a sniff of any sort of comeback as he puts his foot firmly on the gas striking out for a 255. Right now Mika is giving Rhino Page the business. And now it's time for Kelly Kulik to take the stage. Previous to this event her best PBA finish was sixth place at the 2008 Buckeye Classic. Her first test is the winner of match one, Mika, and it's cleared the lanes to transition for him as he goes high twice and leaves an open frame in the second, chopping the 310. Mm. His first open frame of the day comes in the third. Well, Rob, you talk about how many strikes he threw in the last match. In fact, he threw the last seven in a row. Well, then the players got a lot of practice in between games. The oil pattern breaks down, and because of the way the lanes played this week, that zone is now gone. Mika Koivuniemi is going to have to move out of the zone he was in in the first game. But he quickly makes the adjustment, throwing a double. It's a bit of a mixed start for Kelly, as she throws a couple of strikes on the right lane, but then has a couple of shots that go through the head pin. However, she still has the advantage and this is extended after Mika leaves the 4-6 in frame number 6. Ooh, our first split of the day. And Mika doing some self-editing there. 
We're looking at the cats, there was this is around the 14th board, but maybe too much hand, and you see how it breaks loose down the lane and cuts right through the nose, leaving the 4 6. She looks like she's going to put this match to bed after a double, but somehow the 10 pin still stands in the eighth. Mika rallies after the open, throwing a turkey. Double messenger did not deliver. And now it's over to Kelly in the 10th frame, and this is her first big test. She has the chance to shut out Mika and advance to the title match. But to do so, she must double and then get seven pins. get much better than this Rob that is 10 back 10 in the pit she's done it she moves on to take on your one seed Chris Barnes in the title match one win away from history and the crowd solidly in her corner and those three shots in the tent show why she's here on the telecast and now she set up an incredibly enticing title match against the one seed, Chris Barnes. Here's what they both had to say before the start of this match. Frame, what were you thinking about when you got up knowing what you needed to do to beat Mika? I'm just trying to feel my legs get into the foul line. I knew if I could just bowl like I did the last match in match play, uh, it would be there. So be aggressive, throw the ball like I know how, and see what happens. Thanks. Good luck in the title match. Now, Chris, we all know how... Great a bowler your wife is, and I'm, I'm guessing you've probably lost to her more than once. Um, what are your thoughts going up against Kelly in the title match? Well, really, gender doesn't have anything to do with it. Uh, you have enough talent to make a show out here. You're, you, you got the goods, and she's proved it all week long, and uh, so the fact that, that uh, she's a, a woman doesn't really change the fact that I'm, I'm here to win the tournament champions. Chris, congrats. Thanks very much. Chris Barnes with his first shot that doesn't make it back and an interesting reaction from Chris. Boy, this is not what you want to see or hear out of Chris Barnes if you're pulling for his camp. All the practice that he got prior to the start of this match, and then he throws that shot and comes back and goes, wow. I mean, there's a lot of indecision going on in the head of Chris Barnes right at this moment. But he makes an early and decisive ball change on the very next shot, which leads to a strike. Ball change for Barnes, and it works on the left lane. Kulik looks to be relishing this moment from the get-go and is extremely lined up, throwing two more great shots for the first three strikes. Barnes still looks to be figuring out the right lane and goes alight for the second time in a row. But now things go horribly wrong for Barnes in the fourth frame and he leaves the 4-6-10. Kelly strikes again and already this one looks like it could almost be over before it even began, until... She leaves the 7-10 off a pocket shot, and now suddenly Barnes can start to really get himself back into this match. And a 7-10 she leaves. How is that even possible? All the great breaks, all the great shots she's thrown, and this happens? Boy, you want to talk about somebody getting the defibrillator out on Chris Barnes. That's what'll do it for you. Two very good shots, but Barnes can't string anything together, and Kulik put the 7-10 behind her and throws a double to increase her lead to 40. Time is now running out for Barnes, and he simply has to find something here. Set the tone early on. Here is Barnes as we begin the eighth, looking for his first double of the day. Comes at a great time. Barnes is back, people. Now let's see how Kelly responds. 
for the first time in this title match with everything on the line, Chris Barnes just applied a little bit of pressure. Just a little. Not dead yet. So how does Kulik respond? Just like this. in the ninth frame and any kind of good count in the tenth frame Kelly Kulik is going to win the tournament of champions she had eight strikes in her win over Mika Koivu Niemi seven already here biggest shot of her career right here right now And this shot just sums it up for Barnes, who played a solid match. He made some great adjustments and ball changes, but just couldn't get anything going to put any significant pressure on Kulik. And this 8-pin means that history has been made. Kelly Kulik is your winner and becomes the first female to win a PBA title. And not just any title, a major. She finishes with a 265, and with a game like that, you have to say it was thoroughly deserved. In both matches, she went out and truly earned the win. It's now over 13 years since this event took place, and in that time, we've had another female bowler win a PBA title. On November 18th, 2017, Liz Johnson won the PBA Comedian Championship at the World Series of Bowling, and I'm certain more female players will win PBA titles. But regardless of that, this tournament is iconic and will always be remembered as one of the greatest PBA moments of all time. Why not? Why not? 